Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1990s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on December 10th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1997 Flair Showcase Hot Gloves Die Cut Kenny Lofton, card number 9. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $27.60. Up next at number 49, we get a player I believe has never made one of these weekly auction lists with this 1997 Bowman Chrome International Jose Cruz Jr. Rookie Auto, card number 122. This rookie was authenticated by PSA, given a 9 grade for the auto, and it sold for $27.60. Coming in at number 48 is this 1991 Ultra Update Mike Mussino Rookie, card number U4. This update rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $27.60. Coming in at number 47 is this 1999 Pacific Omega Premier Date Greg Maddox, card number 26. Serial numbered out of only 50, this was in a BGS 8, and it sold for $30 even. We welcome another newcomer we don't see on these weekly lists at number 46, with this 1997 Bowman Chrome Lance Berkman Rookie Auto, card number 298. This rookie was authenticated by PSA, give it a 9 grade for the auto, and it also sold for $30. We're back to the peak of the junk wax era at number 45, with this 1990 score Bo Jackson, card number 697. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $30. The Kid makes his first appearance on today's list at number 44 with this 1996 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. card number 205. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $31.20. Up next at number 43 is this 1998 Topps Mystery Finest Bordered Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor, card number M20. This refractor was in a PSA 8, and it sold for $32.40. Make that three straight appearances for the kid at number 42, with this 1999 Finest Ken Griffey Jr., Card number 200. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $37.20. Vladimir Guerrero makes his first appearance on today's list at number 41 with his 1997 Flair Showcase Wave of the Future, card number 14. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $39.60. Coming in at number 40 is this 1996 Finest Barry Bonds Refractor, card number 240. This refractor was in a PSA 8 and it also sold for $39.60. Up next at number 39 is this 1992 Bowman Foil Manny Ramirez Rookie, card number 676. This first Bowman was in a PSA 10, and it also sold for just short of $40. 
Derek Jeter makes his first appearance on today's list at number 38 with this 1999 Topps Gallery of Heroes card number GH5. This Jeter was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $43.20. We're sticking to the late 1990s at number 37 with this 1998 Circuit Thunder Quick Strike Ken Griffey Jr. card number 5. This was a CSG 9 and it sold for $43.20. Up next at number 36 is this 1995 Bowman's Best Derek Jeter, card number 1. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $43.20. Coming in at number 35 is this 1991 Upper Deck Final Edition Pedro Martinez Rookie, card number 2F. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for just short of $50. Up next at number 34 is this 1997 Flair Showcase Wave of the Future David Ortiz rookie, card number 11. This rookie insert was in a SGC 9.5, and it sold for $51.60. Cal Ripken Jr. makes his first appearance on today's list at number 33 with this 1999 Ultra Diamond Producers card number 4. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $64.80. We're headed back to the Junk Wax era at number 32 with this 1991 Topps Chipper Jones rookie, card number 333. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $81.60. Up next at number 31 is this 1994 Upper Deck Electric Diamond Michael Jordan Card number 19. This Jordan was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $86.40. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1990 star Mike Piazza minor league rookie, card number 24. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $86.40. Coming in at number 29 is this 1995 Select Certified Mirror Gold Derek Jeter, card number 122. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $91.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for Jeter at number 28 with his 1992 Classic 4 Sport, card number 231. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $98.40. Up next at number 27 is this 1993 Topps Traded Todd Helton Rookie, card number 19T. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for just over $100. Up next at number 26 is this 1993 Stadium Club Murphy Derek Jeter rookie, card number 117. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $110.40. Coming in at number 25 
is this 1997 Bowman Chrome International Carry Wood Rookie Auto, card number 183. This was a PSA DNA authenticated auto, and it sold for $112.80. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to today's list at number 24 with this 1991 Upper Deck Ricky Henderson Auto, card number 444. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $117.60. Barry Bonds makes another appearance on today's list at number 23 with his 1994 Finest Refractor, card number 230. This refractor was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $126. Up next at number 22, is this 1995 Bowman's Best Blue Vladimir Guerrero Rookie Auto. This was a PSA DNA authenticated auto and it sold for $138. We welcome another newcomer at number 21 with this 1999 Metal Universe Cliff Floyd PMG card number 94. Serial numbered out of 50, this PMG was in a SGC 8, and it sold for $144. Mike Piazza is back to kick off the top 20 with this 1992 Bowman Rookie Auto, card number 461. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for $144. Up next at number 19 is this 1993 Select Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 360. This Jeter Rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $186. Coming in at number 18 is this 1990 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. Auto, card number 336. This card was authenticated by PSA, given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for just short of $200. Up next at number 17 is this 1992 Front Row Draft Picks Derek Jeter Pre-Rookie, Card number 55. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $228. We welcome another newcomer to today's list at number 16 with this 1999 Skybox EX Century Essential Credentials Future Jim Tomey, card number 35. Serial numbered out of 86, this parallel was in a PSA 8, and it sold for $234. Up next at number 15 is this 1993 Topps Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 98. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $276. Up next at number 14 is this 1997 Bowman Chrome Adrian Beltre Rookie, card number 182. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $312. Coming in at number 13 is this 1995 Upper Deck Willie Mays Auto, card number AC2. This was a PSA 5 with the 9 grade for the auto, and it sold for $312. 
the kids back at number 12 with this 1999 Topps Chrome All Etch Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor, card number AE3. This was a BGS Gem Mint 9.5 and it sold for $324. Coming in at number 11 is this 1995 Select Certified Mirror Gold Derek Jeter, card number 122. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $336. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1992 Bowman Mariano Rivera Rookie Auto, Card number 302. This first Bowman was authenticated by PSA, give it a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $348. Up next at number 9 is this 1994 SP Insert Central Region Michael Jordan, card number CR2. This more rare Michael Jordan minor league baseball card was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $372. Make that back to back appearances for Jordan at number eight with this classic 1991 upper deck Michael Jordan card number SP1. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $420. Coming in at number 7 is this 1998 Don Russ Elite Master Craftsman's Barry Bonds, card number 23. Serial numbered out of 100, this was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $540. Up next at number 6 is this 1999 Skybox EX Century Essential Credentials Now Pudge Rodriguez card number 28. Serial numbered out of only 28, this rare parallel was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $600 even. And before we get to the top 5, I do have 10 bonus cards to share with you guys. And we'll kick things off with this 1999 Topps Chrome Cal Ripken Jr. Refractor, card number 270. This refractor was in a PSA 7, and it sold for $27.60. For a raw, ungraded card, I ran across this 1994 Finest Dion Sanders Refractor, card number 22. While ungraded, this card was authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $25.20. Uh, this was a rare weekly auction where I don't believe A-Rod made a single appearance in the top 50, so I found this 1994 SP Foil Alex Rodriguez Rookie, card number 15. This rookie was in a PSA 8, and it sold for just short of $20. For a couple bonus cards for the kid, up next is this 1997 Score Blast Masters Ken Griffey Jr. Card number six. This was a PSA eight and it sold for $18 even. Headed back to the Junk Wax era, up next is this 1990 Star Ken Griffey Jr. Card number one. This was also a PSA 8, and it sold for $14.40. For our next bonus card, we get this 1995 Upper Deck Michael Jordan card number 200. This was a PSA 7, and it sold for $13.20. For our seventh bonus card, we get this 1999 Finest Milestones Vladimir Guerrero, card number M10. Uh, serial numbered out of 3000, this was a PSA 9, and it sold for $12. 
for these last three bonus cards. I was trying to find some uh, good deals and players that didn't make the top 50 for under $10. And first up is this 1998 Ultra Gold Medallion Mark McGuire, card number 494G. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $9.60. For another bonus card that I thought was an absolute steal, we get this 1999 Pacific Omega Hit Machine 3000 Tony Gwynn, card number 18. Serial numbered out of 3,000, this was in a BGS 8.5, and it also sold for just short of $10. And for our 10th and final bonus card, I ran across this 1990 Bowman Inserts Bo Jackson. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $8.40. And getting back to today's list, kicking off the top five is this 1997 Skybox EX2000, a cut above Ken Griffey Jr., card number two. This die cut insert was in a PSA 8, and it sold for $840. Up next at number four, is this 1998 Don Russ Elite Master Craftsman Ken Griffey Jr. card number one. Serial numbered out of 100, this was a PSA 9, and it sold for $900 even. Coming in at number three, is this 1998 Topps Gold Label Class 2 Red Ken Griffey Jr. card number 100. Serial numbered out of only 50, this Class 2 Red was in a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $2,130. And we get one of our weekly regulars at number 2, with this 1993 SP Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 279. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $3,840. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1998 Upper Deck Piece of Action 3 Ken Griffey Jr. Patch Auto, card number KGS. This was a BGS 8, and it sold for $4,440. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.